In this video, we're going to talk about creating structure arrays. A structure array is just a collection of structures inside of an array or a vector. And we're going to talk about how we can create them with the struct function and also with the dot operator. So suppose I have this structure array here that I want to create that um, encompasses data about tennis players. Um, and so there's three field names. There's the name, there's the name field. There's a sport field and also there's the record where it's a vector where the first number is your wins and the second number is your losses. And so if I wanted to create this using the struct function, um, it's, it's similar to the way that I would have done with just a one by one structure in the sense that it, uh, the struct function takes in field name value pairs. So let's say I called this st again. And I saw I have struct. And so now the first field name that I want to have is name. But now I have multiple names that I want to put in, in the sense that in the first, so this is the first index, this is the second index, this is the third, right? So in the first one, I want it to be Serena, and the second one to be Venus, and the third one, I want it to be Maria. And so in order to do that, to tell MATLAB that you want to create a multi-dimensional structure array, um, or just a structure array in general, you then put your values inside of uh, a cell array, inside of curly brackets. So the first one I'll put in is Serena, the second one I'll put in is Venus. The third one I'll put in is Maria. Okay? And so one quick way to look at the struct function and know what the dimensions of your structure will be is just to look at the dimensions of whatever you have inside of curly braces. So right now, this is a horizontal structure array. If I wanted this to be a vertical structure array, I could just change those commas to semicolons. So therefore, it would be a vertical concatenation. And so moving on, so then now we have sport is the next one. So in this case here, everyone plays the same sport. So there's two ways I could do this. I could have a cell array that has tennis, tennis, and tennis, or the struct function, if I have something that's length one, it'll apply that value to all of the um, spots inside of my structure array. So therefore, I can just say tennis once, and everyone will have the value of tennis inside of their sport. And so I can put one thing into multiple spots, but if I had just two things, if I had like a celery of just tennis and tennis, it would error because one of them, one of the values would be like three, the name, saying I have three names, and then the sport would have two values, like two, and then so MATLAB doesn't know what to do in that case. So I can put one thing into multiple spots. And so lastly, um, for the record, I'll move on to the next line, record. I can have a cell array, oh, let's put that on the string. I can have a cell array where in the first spot is the vector 10 and 0 because Serena is the best. And the second one is 5 and 5 because Venus is not as good. And then the last one is 0 and 10 because Maria Sharapova is trash. All right, so then now I have the cell array that then has vectors inside of each of the spots. And so in this case here, it puts the vector it puts each corresponding vector into each corresponding spot. And so that's how you use the struct function in order to create structure arrays. The other way of creating structure arrays is using the dot operator. And so we talked about the dot operator with just structures, but now there's a little bit different syntax in order to use it to create structure arrays. So the syntax changes because now when you're creating, you have to have the name of the structure and then in parentheses, you want to have the index that you want to modify, then dot, then the field name, and then you want to set a value. So let's say I want to build that salary that we were doing in the last part of the video. And so let's start off. So I'm going to have to go one by one inside of every uh, index and inside of every um, field name in order to create that. So let's start off. Let's say I had st of one dot name was oh, equals was Serena. And let's say I said st of one dot sport is tennis. And so let's just stop right there just because I'm a little bit lazy. But right now we have a structure that has a field name name and a field name sport. So here is Serena, I'm just gonna put an S, and here is tennis, I'm just gonna put a T, okay? But now, let's say I wanted to move on to someone else. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to say ST of two dot name 
is Venus. So the one rule about structure arrays is that if a structure is going to be in a structure array, it has to have all of the same field names as everything else in the structure array and also in the same order. So right now I'm telling MATLAB to go in and create another structure that has the field name name, and let's just say it's V, but it has to have something for a field named sport if it's going to be inside of this structure array. So what MATLAB does is it fills in all of your empty spots with empty brackets. And these empty brackets are class double. Actually, let's not draw it like that. Your empty brackets are class double. Okay. So it doesn't really matter that in the other one we had sport, which was uh, tennis, which was class char. It doesn't matter. MATLAB isn't going to fill it in with empty strings that are class char. It's going to always fill things in with class double, uh, empty brackets. And so this is similar to like if I had a vector of length 3, and then I added something in the 10th position. It pads it all with zeros. So for structures, MATLAB pads things with empty brackets that are class double. And so continuing, let's say... I then said something like st of 3 dot record is the vector 0 and 10. So this is going to create that third spot and it's going to create a field name called record and right now it's going to be 0 and 10. But like I said before, everything inside of a structure array has to have the same field names in the same order. So it's going to create these other two field names, so sport and name, and it's going to assign to them empty brackets that are class double. But now since I created this new field name as well, all the other structures in the structure array have to have that field name as well. So it goes in and it fills in those two. So we have record there, and we have record, oops, record there. So that would be empty brackets of class double, and these would be empty brackets of class double as well. So you can use the dot operator in order to um, create a uh, cell array, not a cell array, create a structure array um, dynamically, right? So maybe this would be useful in a loop or something where you're going through and changing the index and changing what you're um, putting in the value as. But you just have to remember that if you start going out of order, it's going to pad things, it's going to pad all the empty spots with empty brackets that are class double.